DDR. So what is it? It's basically multiple static, static images acquired at either um, six or 15 frames per second. It's a length of time of approximately eight to 10 seconds with an average dosage only about 1.3 times greater than the standard X-ray. I think that's important to realize. I mean, it's much less than a chest X-ray, much, much less than a shoulder or CT. And thus it's, it's something that, uh, at least from a patient standpoint, it really doesn't pose much extra risk. It's multifunctional. Um, you can you can utilize it in multiple different joints, um, but more importantly, at least from my interest, it's the upper extremity that I care about. I'm an upper extremity surgeon. I operate from the shoulder to fingertip, really specialize in certain complex pathologies. And this dynamic DDR has really helped us to reevaluate a lot of these pathologies. Um, one of my more interesting um, aspects that we've worked a lot on has been the shoulder. And as many of you know who treat shoulder pathology, it's very difficult to assess scapular humeral rhythm and the interplay between the glenohumeral joint and the scapular thoracic joint. So here, modifying this to be more of a 3D type motion, we started to look into how to actually capture this, how to capture it from an axial view or from a gracie view.